can't find a good spot to put my phone. Will it be here? How about here? Will it fall? Not falling, but you can see so much of my house. Okay, okay, okay. It's actually... It's actually staying. It's standing on top of my other camera. I wish I could take a picture of the way it's standing right now. It's almost impossible. But I have no other camera to take a picture with. Stay, stay. I'm using glasses to keep it in place somehow. So yeah, but this is a good spot. I think this, I think this is a good spot. You can see some dinosaurs. So yeah, good day, dino friends. Uh, a few weeks ago, I got a package. Package, package. Who's it from? I can't, what does it say? They put this, why would you put the sticker over it? Okay, I think it's from grandma. I think it's from grandma. Oh, haha, -ha. there's nothing in it. Wait, oh, oh my, oh my God. Sweet. That's right, YouTube sent us this beautiful package for a hundred, a uh, hundred thousand subscribers. Uh, this is what we've been working for for years. Super dry, do not open warning. Wow, that's great. Okay, so now of course, a few weeks ago, I got my silver play button, which is this prize, this award that YouTube gives you for getting to 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. And when I got it, I thought I was going to be really happy. It was going to feel like Christmas or my birthday or both at the same time. And when I got it, I didn't even open it. I didn't, I don't know why. I didn't understand why I wasn't happy. So I've actually had the award for a few weeks just sitting in a box and I was just, I was feeling a little bit guilty because I was, I thought I wasn't happy enough. I was supposed to be more happy with this award. But I think the reason for me why I wasn't that happy with it is that even though I really love YouTube, they are just this, this big company that doesn't even really know who I am. And even though I've been on YouTube since like 2006 or something, I've been making videos for over 13 years and I was on YouTube before that, before I even had an account. I was on YouTube before you could make money. I was on YouTube before there were awards. I was on YouTube. I think I was on YouTube before even a single person got to 100,000 subscribers and I've noticed that being on YouTube for so long means that I see YouTube very differently from people who start using YouTube nowadays or in the past five years or something. The way newer people talk about YouTube is they always focus a lot on numbers like how many subscribers, how many viewers, how many likes does a person have or maybe even how much money do you make on YouTube and none of this ever mattered. If you go back to maybe like 2009 or something like that no one was talking about that. No one cared that much about these numbers. It wasn't important. And I think I still don't really care. There's uh, the mailman. This is awkward. Hi. Yep. I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't really care about a hundred thousand because every single person is so important to me. And I think that after all these years, it still doesn't matter to me how many people exactly. I don't need hundreds of thousands of people to watch my videos. I think I still have that part where I'm so happy that even, even if one person watches my video, every single one, even if one person watches my videos, that is so crazy to me that you take your time. You could watch any video right now. You could go to any channel on YouTube and watch their videos, or you could do something else. But you came to my channel and you watch my videos. You're watching this video right now. And that is amazing to me. And I've always had that ever since I made my very first video on YouTube and also on this channel, which is, I guess, my newer channel. Um, when we had less than a thousand subscribers, I said, if we ever make it to 1000 subscribers, 1000 subscribers, after that, it doesn't matter anymore. I just want 1000. And as weird as it sounds, that's still kind of true. I kind of stopped counting. Of course, you always see how many subscribers you have. There's, you have, there's always the numbers, but I kind of stopped counting. And I'm just so grateful that for every single person that watches my videos and that leaves a comment and a like and everything, all of those nice things and that interacts with me. Because to me, YouTube is still kind of a social media medium like it once was even though nowadays most people consider it like a money making uh, celebrity making place where people want to get famous and rich 
for me, it's still kind of social. It's still about the comments and interacting with the people. And I think 100,000 is just too much for me. And I think that's the reason why I haven't really opened that box because it just feels weird. 100,000 feels too much. I cannot deal with it. And also, of course, YouTube is just this big company now. It's so much bigger now. It's part of Google. It's one of the biggest companies in the entire world. And they just have a factory somewhere where I'm, where they make this thing. So I think another reason why I didn't want the play button or why I didn't really look at it is because you guys have actually made so many things for me. Let me step aside here. You guys have made so many things for me that, that are so beautiful that you worked so hard on. And to me, that means so much more because you guys watch my videos and support me. And you guys even made this one. This one was made by Angel Go Pokemon. And he's one of the biggest fans of the channel. He actually, when we got to 100,000 subscribers, he made that drawing. And as weird as it sounds, that one is way more special to me. All these things that you guys have made for me are so much more special than this metal thing that YouTube has made in a factory. And that doesn't mean I don't, I'm not grateful. I'm I think it's really nice of YouTube to do that for people, but they don't know who I am and you guys do. So that's why I've decided to make my very own YouTube play button. I took this image, I went to the printer shop and I asked, can you make it in the size of the YouTube play button? And here it is. So one YouTube play button, it is the real one. It is, it is the actual, can you see it? Can you see that it's the real one? I don't know if you can see it has holes so you can actually put it up somewhere. Uh, I don't know if I'll put it up or if I'll just put it down somewhere, but this is so much more beautiful to me. Oh, it's mirrored. I'm sorry, it's mirrored. It looks like this. So it says, of course, congratulations. There's even a little typo in there. And to me, that makes it even more beautiful. Angel Go Pokemon, one of the biggest fans of the channel actually made this. And to me, that is so much more special. So thank you for this. Thank you guys for this, not YouTube, but thank you guys for supporting me and watching the videos. Thank you so much. Even though it took over 13 years, uh, I still think it's really special. I'm just looking at this. This is so beautiful to me. <laughs> I'm going to find a really nice spot to put this probably next to my build a source plushie that my sister made. And of course, I also want to say thank you for YouTube still, even though you just made this in a factory, I'm still happy that you make a platform for us to make videos. And apart from the copyright strikes, you're not so bad. So I don't really know what else to say in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, not just this video, but any video that you've watched that I've made. Um, it means so much to me that you watch it and that you interact with me. And uh, I hope you will continue watching. And yeah, I guess that's the end of this video. Don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur.